really proud of of our you know three seniors you know and as I told them you know I played 75 years ago but you, you always remember your your senior game the last game of your of your um, senior career um, you know Courtney's been here for I don't know what, seven eight years <laughs> um, but you you know and you always you know you're gonna look back 10 15 30 years from now and always remember that game and you know these two guys and especially in the second half really you know took over the game and um, you know Ladarian had 10 points and whatever Courtney had and rebounds defending um, couldn't be prouder they they you know you're only as good as your seniors um, they didn't play very well uh, against Davidson um, but good players and good leaders bounce back and they bounce back and um, you know the first half uh, we didn't play great uh, give St. Louis credit they um, they annihilated us on the backboard. Um, they were a more physical team, but I thought, you know, we hit Dom had a big shot at the end of the half. Um, we got a, a stop at the end of the half, and so I felt like we had some momentum going out, going into the uh, second half. You know, you challenged the guys at halftime. You know, I think it was 26 to 12, rebounding. Um, we were plus six in the second half. Um, I thought our zone was really effective. Um, you know, we knew that. You know, you look at those guys and. They're very mature, 50 of seniors, you know, physical guys. And, you know, some positions they had 40, 50 pounds on us. You know, so we had to do things a little bit differently. And I thought the zone, you know, kept the ball out of the paint for the most part. Our guys did a good job of keeping it out of the paint. We contested shots. In the second half, we rebounded. And that, that was the difference. And got some stuff off of turnovers. Um, and we played, you know, we hit some shots. Dom hit a couple big shots in the corner. Um, you know, and we just finished the game. So, but proud and, you know, who would have thought, thought that, you know, when we're one and five and four and nine and zero and one in the league that, you know, we'd end up 12 and six. Um, but as I told the guys in the locker room, it's, it's a great life lesson. You know, it's, you're going to hit a lot of adversity, uh, you know, when you leave here and get into the real world and it's how you deal with it. And, um, you know, there's a lot of noise going on, you know, we weren't very good and, you know, we're not going to win 10 games and those guys didn't listen to it and they kept on fighting and kept on working and, if you do that, good things will happen. And, you know, so it's, I'm really proud of what, what they've done this year. And, you know, hopefully we can go to Bar the Barclays Center and, and play well. Mark, can you talk just a little bit about going from 4-10 to where we yeah. are now? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it, it was, you know, we had a lot of injuries, um, you know, and, and not injuries to our role guys, injuries to our main guys. Um, and then when Dom went down in, um, in, on the island, um, you know, now, now it's, you know, we were expecting him to come in and play and, you know, now we put him back eight or, you know, nine, eight or nine games and we didn't have any continuity. We didn't have any chemistry. We couldn't practice the way we wanted to practice. You know, we had eight guys and we were playing four and four and it just wasn't good. And, you know, I knew that if we got healthy, we'd have a shot. But, you know, you have to keep your guys believing that there's a shot. There's a point when you, you know, you're four and ten and, or four and nine and then you lose your first game by whatever, we lost 15 points, I think, against George Mason, where, you know, any human being is going to start doubting, like, oh, God, here we go. You know, but those guys, you know, kept on working. Um, you challenged them, and, and they responded. And, um, you know, coming home and winning a couple games, and, um, you know, they, like I said, they blocked out the noise. And, and like, I, I, you know, we joke about it, and we joke, you know, and I, I say to the media, it's like those guys, you know, they didn't know what they were talking about when they said we were terrible. We didn't believe them. You know, why would we believe them now when they say we're pretty good? You know, so we just try to block out the noise, nothing against the media, but, you know, all the preseason polls, you know, you don't, you don't listen to it. You know, it's like we, 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 the only thing that we care about is what is going on in that locker room and that practice, you know, those 15 guys. You know, and our guys have done a really good job of, of blocking out that noise and not listening to it and just putting their head down and going to work, and, and that's what we did. But even, you know, keeping that positive attitude. Uh-huh. No, it, yeah, it's, yeah, anything's possible, you know, but, um, you know, there's some doubt that, go, that goes into your brain, um, you know, thinking like, you know, can we, can we come back? Because, you, know, you know, in the Atlantic 10, every game, if you don't play well, you have a chance to lose, you know, so now, now you're 0-1 and, you know, you're coming home and I think we're playing, I think St. Joe's maybe, I'm not sure who we played, was it St. Joe's we played coming back from George Mason? You know, and they picked, you know, first or second in the league, um, you know, so, yeah, there's, there's, there's doubt that creeps in, but if you believe in what you're doing um, and the players believe in what they're doing, then you know, good things are going to happen. And you just got to keep on working at it. The season's a long year. Um, and when we were 4-9 and nine and, um, 
you know, the non-conference is over, we just threw that, you know, erased it. You can't worry about that. There's water under the bridge. Let's concentrate on, on the Atlantic 10, and that's what the kids did. And, and we got better. We got healthier. Um, we got some chemistry. The, the freshmen started playing like veteran guys. Um, and, you know, guys accepted their roles and just kept on working, and, and good things can happen. Yeah, Ladarian barely played, you know, and in, in, I don't know if you, I don't know if you get a basket freshman year, right? I don't know if you average the basket, but you know, like in today's world, you know, there's a lot of Ladarians that would have left, you know, you know, coach doesn't like me, coach is not playing me, you know, and you always blame other people, but you know, Ladarian looked at himself and said, you know, something, I got to get better, you got to get stronger, and he did get better. And last year, he was the most improved player in our league, and that just shows. Um, and Courtney's story is is remarkable. You know, it's breaking his foot twice. You know, in, in essence, he, in two years, he practiced, I think, 10 practices. You know, and for him to be able to come back and, and play the way he, he's played in two years, you know, without taking, you know, taking basketball and not redshirting, just completely away from the game and be able to come back and play like he's done, that's a testament to him and, and the talent that he has. just wanted to, you know, keep getting stops, you know, and when the opportunity presented itself, I just wanted to be aggressive, you know, make plays down the stretch, being that, being that team leader for my team. Um, and, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I just, to I just tried to get it within the offense, you know, get my other team, uh, my other teammates involved and, you know, play within myself. Yeah. Yeah, we got we got tough guys. You know, we battled. You know, it's guys did their jobs. You know, trying to take the guys off the backboard, and being more active. You know, I think they knew. You know, that in the first half, St. Louis got the best of us physically. Um, and in that, you know, if, if you're a, a young man or if you're a man, you don't want to be bullied like that. And we got bullied in the first half, and I thought we responded. And that's what you know, good players and character guys do. And, and that's what we did. You know, it wasn't excuse me, it wasn't just one guy. It was all, all of our guys were were battling, trying to keep the ball alive, and you know, not afraid to get their their nose bloodied. Um, and that's how you have to compete. You know, especially against a team that that has so much physical talent. Um, that if you know one guy's not doing his job, then you're not going to get the job done. And you know, like I said, rebounding was critical, but I thought our zone was 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 just as critical. Just keeping the ball, you know, out of the paint. And they got some stuff. And um, you know, Goodwin is is a heck of a player. Um, you know, Isabel shot the ball, hit some big shots. But um, you know, just that keeping the ball above the foul line and rebounding were were crucial elements to uh, to our success. <clears throat> Um, first half, I sucked. Uh, <laughs> like, I just wanted to come out uh, and just be aggressive and try to get easy baskets. Um, the guys were just keep, they just were encouraging me just to keep going at it. Um, and just seeing that first one uh, fall, kind of just I felt like I could start knocking knocking more shots down and uh, just try to get it close. And then once we got it close, I, we had a feeling we, that we, we could win this game. Honestly, I think I owe it to, you know, the rest of my teammates. You know, um, I'm I'm proud of the way that the guys played all year. I think we showed a lot of a lot of toughness, a lot of perseverance, and a lot of resilience. Um, like Coach said, when we started out a uh, uh, conference at four and ten, you know, it would have been easy for us to just lay down, you know. But we stuck with it, you know, believed in ourselves, 
blocked out the noise, and, and we got it done. How did each of you guys learn from your experience in the conference tournament last season? And did you know, the regular season real hot, and obviously didn't end the way you wanted to? Uh, well, I mean, me, I'd say what I learned last year was just that how hard it is that, to win in the conference tournament because now it's just not everybody's at an even kind of playing field. Everybody's well rested. And you just know it's just whoever can whoever can get the hottest and and win three games, four games. How does it coach maybe change? I mean we've we talked about it this whole stretch of difference, but knowing that you've got that course now you've got that double bottom. Well yeah. going, going into it. Yeah, you know, it's like like I said earlier, um you know, the only way we were gonna get to reach our ultimate goals to get the NSA tournament was the win conference tournament. That's the only way. We're not, you know, our record isn't good enough. Um, and it's easy to win three games than there is to win four games, you know. And so that's the simple math. Um, you know, it gives us some days we're a little bit banged up, you know, so it gives us an extra day of rest, which is important at this time of year. Um, but it, it's really, you know, we wanted to, to get as high up in the standings as possible. You know, and if Dayton loses tonight, then we're tied for third. Even though we come in fourth, we're tied for third. You just, it's a competitive thing. You want to try to move up. In every game you play, you want to win. You know, so, um, but in terms of, of the Barclays Center, yeah, it's, you know, another day's rest is, is crucial. Um, you know, trying to, you know, and then just only having to win three games. You know, winning four games, five games. You no know, more, it's like anything. The more games you, you play, the, the tougher it is. So, um, you know, and then we're just, we're just going to go down there and play and, you know, it's a one-game season. You know, you got to play well. If you don't play well, you know, last year we lost to Davidson. Courtney got hurt in the game before, and we didn't have. But those things happen. You know, and that's why it's so difficult to to win the tournament. You know, it's like you got to be playing well for three or four straight nights, and, and you have to stay healthy, and that's hard. Courtney, what did you learn from last year's experience? Um, I would probably say kind of to piggyback on what Ladarian said, the attention to detail. You know, um, going into every game, being focused and being prepared. And I think as long as I've been here, we've done a pretty good job of prepare, preparing for um, whatever opponent we came up against. And I think that's what's <coughs> helped us with, with all the success that we've had. How do you guys impress that on the freshman? Um, you know, just steady harping on it. You know, being those leaders, you know, um, keeping it in their ears, putting that bug in their ears and just – trying to lead by example and try to rub off on them. Yeah, Coach, there's a legitimate chance you guys could be, depending on the time record, you guys could beat St. Louis again on Friday in Brooklyn. Outside of that early rebounding deficit, what do you want to tune up from this showing against the Dolphins? Everything. <laughs> rebounding, taking care of the basketball, running good, better offense, everything. You know, we didn't play a perfect game. We played hard. Um, but, you know, for the first 20 minutes, they dominated us physically. You know, so they're a good team. It's like they're picked, they were picked to win the league. Um, they're, they're a talented team, well coached. They got good players, high, high you know, recruited players. Um, it's hard, you know, and thank God we're playing at home. You know, it would probably be a different story if we were playing at, at St. Louis. Um, and they're in, on a neutral site. They're good. They're, they're a physical, you look at them, you know, they got 23, 24-year-old men. Um, you know, so we're going to have our hands full with whomever we play, whoever, you know. And if it's St. Louis, it's St. Louis. But... We know, you know, what they can bring. And the guys have experienced it. And, you know, it's, we just, we, you have to worry about, you know, in that tournament, you have to worry about yourself. You got to, can't worry about what they're doing. You got to take care of what you can do. And, and that's what we're going to try to do. Coach, you didn't have time for a significant portion of the non-conference. Uh -huh. Six threes today as a team might not seem like a lot, but do you think that, how important is it to have, have those pieces that can hit important threes? Yeah, you need, yeah, you, you know, always need shooters. You know, you can't have enough shooters. Look at Davidson. You know, you, you know the more shooters you can have. The, good, the thing that Dom has brought, you know, he wasn't the best defensive player. He wasn't committed. You know, most high school kids aren't. But he's, he's gotten it, you know, and, and he's playing hard. He's playing much more, uh, he much, much better defensively, moving his feet. Um, and he's really caught on. I, I've been really... He's really, we run a lot of stuff, and, and Dom has done a tremendous job, in both offensively and defensively, of learning this <coughs> stuff. Um, and, and all the credit goes to him. You know, he missed eight games, and, you know, as a freshman, mi missing eight games, that's like missing a whole season, you know. But he, he's really, one of, to me, he's one of the keys. You know, these guys and, and Kyle and, and Shun, but, 
Dom is, he's like the X factor, you know, and when he got healthy and started playing with confidence and, and finally got it, um, we became a, mu a much better team. Uh, yeah, and as I told those guys in the locker room, it's, it's a great life lesson. You know, he struggled. You know, he struggled for, I don't know, a month and a half. Um, but he, he's always in the gym, um, you know, and, and I, would, I, I would think that his confidence was shaken. Um, but he never stopped believing. He came in, and he was a big force. You know, he had the big jump hook, um, got the crowd involved, got some rebounds, played physical, and that's what we need. And hopefully this is jump start him, and, you know, hopefully it will jump start him into – the Barclays Center and hopefully it jump starts them jump starts them into next season. Courtney and Ladarian, uh, uh, after all you guys have been through in your in your careers together, that hug at the end, what does that mean knowing you guys have touched it all around? That's what I'm growing. <laughs> uh I mean, we've been through a lot together, like on and off the court and uh it was just kinda like like we were kinda everybody was kinda down yeah, if we can if we could us two and Nelly and just the freshman, could we, could we do it again? Could we be top four? Or could we win games? And uh, I, I think at the end, it just was like we did it. We showed everybody that like we're, we're legit. Like.